All right, class. Welcome to Walkin' 101, an intense four-year program dedicated to learning everything we can about the life and career of actor Christopher Walken, film, television, theater, and occasional point-and-click video game star. Okay. So, since this is a class about Christopher Walken, there are a few ground rules that we should cover. First of all, don't want to hear the word cowbell. All right? It's not funny. It's overdone. More cowbell, more cowbell, more cowbell. It's been 18 years. We get it. Frankly, it's offensive and disrespectful to the man. Secondly, I don't want to hear any Christopher Walken impersonations. All right? The only person in this room who's even marginally allowed to do an impersonation is me. Now, the only reason I was able to do that was because I've researched the man for years. So don't go trying it yourself. Frankly, it's dangerous. So don't go thinking you're Kevin Pollock or something. I want to do that. Can I use this chair? Okay. So for those of you who don't know who Christopher Walken is, you've come to the right place. This class will provide you an in-depth analysis of Christopher Walken's incredible acting techniques, but also a comprehensive study into his thought process, his history. Woof! Now we are going to get full Malkovich on this thing. We're going to crawl inside of his head and look through his eyes. Become him. By the time you leave this class, you will have Christopher Walken seeping out of the pores of your skin, like that weird smell bad fish disease that people get where it's like, I don't know if it's genetic, it just smells like rotten fish. I had an English teacher once who just brought in a cherry glade air freshener into his class, like that was gonna offset it, now it just smells like cherries and rotten fish. Oh, that's great. This is not an acting class. This is a deep look into a unique force of nature, a cosmic entity that it might outlast us all. Christopher Walken is every one. He's you, he's me, he's everywhere, he's everything. dare try to take that away from me. <sighs> Are there any questions? Is there anyone else in this class? Uh, no, no. Uh, only one person signed up this semester and looking across the room, I believe that number to be correct. Movement. Woof! We all do it. But how does one do it? More importantly, how does Christopher Walken do it? We're gonna dive headfirst into the madness with today's lesson. The Many Movements of Christopher Walken. You're a cantaloupe. Up his ass. More cowbell. The sound of shattering glass. I'm cooking. The ice is gonna break. All right. First off, let's cover Christopher Walken's dancing. Now, I know this has been well covered and explored by both the scholar and the layman, but here is a brief overview. You may be familiar with Walken's impressive dance moves from the 2001 Fatboy Slim music video, Weapon of Choice, which actually earned Walken the coveted MTV Moonman Award for Best Dance Choreography. Well, Walken actually trained as a dancer when he was younger. A performer since age three, Christopher, who was known in his younger days by his birth name Ronald, grew up in show business. In an interview for Interview Magazine, Walken stated that, It was very typical for people, and I mean working class people, 
To send their kids to dancing school, you'd learn ballet, tap, acrobatics. Usually you'd even learn to sing a song. As far as Walken's dancing in film and television goes, there are two categories, appropriate dancing and inappropriate dancing. Appropriate dancing is pretty much what it sounds like. If the scene calls for dancing, then Walken will do it. Perhaps a scene takes place on a literal dance floor, or at a wedding reception, or a nightclub. And of course, dancing works in any musical. You've got Puss in Boots, where he plays a cat in human form with Sean Connery's son. There's also Hairspray, Peter Pan Live, and in arguably his best dance scene in a movie, he played Tom, a sleazy pimp, who in a striptease tap dance number set to Let's Misbehave, tries to convince Bernadette Peters' character to become a prostitute in the shockingly dark musical Pennies from Heaven. In an icky, depressing, misogynistic movie that takes place during the Great Depression, Walken's dance number is the one bright spot. But then there's also inappropriate dancing. And similar to Walken's attitude with appropriate dancing, when a scene does not call for dancing, Walken will do it. He'll find some way to insert a little bit of a dance thing into a scene. Reasons for inappropriate dancing may vary. I'm a villain. I'm trying to seduce someone. I'm excited. I'm in a hallway and this is a David Spade movie. You're talking to me all wrong. It's, it's the wrong tone. I've been abducted by aliens. Now this particular dance sequence is from Communion, which is going to be covered in an entire class later on. Please don't read ahead in the book, it'll only confuse you. There's a book? It seems like in order for Walken to not dance in a movie, you need to cast him as a literal quadriplegic, like in Things to Do in Denver When You're Dead. Nope, just kidding, he even manages to squeeze in some dancing in a flashback sequence. Walken himself has admitted to sneaking dance moves into a number of his roles. When asked about this in a 2016 interview for Rolling Stone, Walken said people began to notice it. That goes Chris Walken with his little dance again. Oof. So as far as we can tell, he's kind of stopped doing it. Now that we've covered dancing, let's get into some very specific mannerisms that you've probably seen but never really absorbed. Once again, presumably playing into his musical roots, Walken has a tendency to do a little finger snap and clap when he's in a state of excitement. He tends to communicate a lot with his index finger, whether he's pointing at you as if to say, ah, hey, don't do that, or shushing you as if to say, be quiet. And here's another one where he sweeps his hands across in a motion similar to a baseball umpire yelling, safe. Huge. But I have saved the best for last. Walken's most used physical mannerism is something that no other scholar in the field has touched on. I'm about to blow this wide open, okay? In everything Christopher Walken has ever done, he does this. Fingertip touching, soon to be trademarked. Whenever he's in a position of power, or he's, he's, he's scheming something, or he's listening intently, doesn't matter, he's the person in charge. At this moment in time, go ahead, try it. How's it feel? You know what that feeling is? That's, that's power. There are endless examples of fingertip touching in Walken's performances. He does it all the time. He even does it in interviews, like in this Letterman interview. He just does it the entire time. Look at him. He came over and he said, license and registration, please. And there was something wrong. There are too many instances of this to mention, so here's an elaborately obsessive montage set to whatever royalty-free music we can afford at this time. Day after Christmas. <laughs> in this Yuletide context, mentioning it was important. I'm sure that's true. Who's an alien?
class, that about does it for the first day. How's everybody feeling? Right? More importantly, how's everybody moving? I wanted you to take this uh, CD home with you, actually. This is, uh, I guess you call it a little bit homework, just to kind of get in, the, get in the mood. This is Fatboy Slim's album, Halfway Between the Gutter and the Stars. So uh, take that home with you. I need that back, actually. It's uh, not the real copy. I, it's, I imported the songs from iTunes, and it's incredibly complicated to try and sync the... I think my nephew comes over, and it's not my iTunes, it's his. And bring it back, please. It's a pain in the neck to get that back. Uh, so, next class, we're going to cover something a little more personal and horrifying. <sighs> a bit of a cold case that people have uh, analyzed for years. A bit of a dark cloud that's followed Christopher Walken for years. I'm talking, of course, about the unfortunate incident in 1989, when the supernatural thriller Communion was produced in which Christopher Walken was abducted by aliens and anally probed. What about the Natalie Wood? See you next class! This video was brought to you by Cheddar, who recently launched their YouTube channel and are making videos that cover business, technology, media, and news, but without the boring parts. One video series they do on their channel that I think is incredibly well done is Cheddar Examines. As someone who makes a lot of video essay content and knows the amount of work that goes into just the research alone, these videos are detailed and thorough. And I particularly liked their videos about the downfall of Sega and the Old Spice viral marketing campaign. So check those videos out. You might might learn something, and if you like them, consider subscribing to their channel. There's bound to be something that interests you, and watching more of their videos. Thanks. Nobody does court dancing anymore. Don't tell me you don't know any country dances. Of course I do. Yes, yes, uh, there is a book, $300. I think it's already been charged to your registration thing. They do a new thing where it's, you know, that you don't have to worry about picking it up. And I know this isn't one of those classes where it's like, oh, do I really need an expensive book? Like, are we ever really gonna use it? We're gonna use at least like 20% of it. So please, required text, no excuses.